Today for questions and answers, I'm going to address a comment that I get quite often on my YouTube channel, and it has to do with what do I do with all the dead mice, rats, and squirrels that result from my trapping videos. The answer is in some cases I eat them. Squirrels are really good to eat. I've also posted videos on how to cook and eat rat. Unfortunately, some people who viewed those videos were so disturbed they reported me to YouTube for offensive content, and YouTube censored those videos based on social taboos against rodents and eating them. So I can't show you how to cook and eat these squirrels. In a lot of cases, I'll just put them out in the backyard in the wild, and uh, scavengers will come and eat them. So in the morning, they're gone. I haven't really paid attention to what's taking them. In the daytime, it could be turkey vultures. At night, it could be coyotes, raccoons, opossums, skunks, who knows what. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the motion cameras on these squirrels and mice and see what takes them. These three squirrels I got in the A24 CO2 trap. That's a squirrel killing machine, just one after another. It hits them in the head and it's really great for pest control. And the mice I got in the Victor electronic multi-kill mouse trap, so they were electrocuted. Now I would eat these squirrels, but they sat in the sun a little bit. They're kind of bloated and they're covered with fly eggs and soon these will hatch and turn into maggots. So if an animal doesn't come and eat them soon, then the maggots will eat them. Same with the mice. So let's set up the motion cameras and see what scavengers come along. Well, I was actually really surprised. The majority of those rodents were eaten by an owl. That was a great horned owl, and it took away all three squirrels and gulped up several of those mice whole. Now, what I have here is an owl pellet. When they swallow those whole, they actually digest the meat and then cough up bones. So they don't poop it out, they just cough it up. And it's kind of fun to see what they eat. You tear this open, you can see all that hair, you can see bones, skulls in there. Here's some mice skulls right there. So it's kind of fun to dissect these and just see how diverse their diet is. And man, great horned owls are top predators. They'll eat animals that are really large. I've seen them attack skunks. They can't smell, so they're a skunk's natural predator and definitely lots of rodents. Now another point that I want to make with this is I only use traps, I don't poison the rodents. And the reason is as they go into the environment, animals will eat them. So if you poison the mice, they'll go out in the field and owls, other birds of prey, will swallow those and have poisoned mice in their stomach. So definitely not a good thing. We also had an opossum come by, but the owl already ate most of the good stuff, the big squirrels. So it's interesting. I was wondering what happened to all those mice in the backyard. They were gone in the morning. And the answer is a great horned owl was eating them. I might move to a different location and see if there are different scavengers out there that eat them. And uh, we'll do maybe more video series on what happens to all these dead mice, rats, and squirrels. But definitely the wild animals love the free meal.